Okay, so here's a glass vase from Goodwill, and that is an under gravel filter. I'm going to try to cut this under gravel filter to round the base. See, there's a corner, but I need that corner because that's where the filtration, the air filtration is going to go. I got some tin snips here, and with the tin snips, I'm going ahead and I'm going to cut around to get it to fit perfectly in the bottom. Now, the gravel is going to go on top of it right there that's the pole that comes up for the air it sticks too far out so i do have to cut this down right here when i cut it down it fits in there perfectly but i got the uh stone too far down i had to pull the stone a little bit further back because i was getting bubbles underneath now that's the water and the gravel from the tank that the baby koi is in i pour water from this tank into the other flower pot that's in this tank that's where the baby koi is at right there with the live plants in there so now I filled up that with the gravel from that tank right there. See, I stirred up some of the water. Now I'm gonna get the plant, some of the plant that's in there with the koi and pull the plant out and put it inside of this other bowl. It's really another planter, but I'm gonna turn it into a fish tank. It's gonna come out beautiful, you'll see. So that's the live plant right there. I'm gonna try to stick some in the gravel. Now I'm using the water from the tank, the exact same water that I pour in baby K, the baby koi's fish bowl that's another i mean flower bowl it's another flower bowl in there i ran up and downstairs a couple times to fill this up so this is filling it up right here filling up the fish bowl with the exact same water that the baby koi is in omg lol the pump is way too big look how much that water is circling in there i still need a smaller air pump almost done I had to put a little valve thing on it because the pump was too high and it was just throwing the water all around I didn't want it that strong I got one more plant to put in it then I'm gonna let it sit overnight before I put the fish in here that's the same rocks and the same water that the fish is in okay now this is a water lily right there I'm gonna cut that in half so the little koi can have some shade Not a, I'm sorry, not a water lily, a water cabbage. So that'll clear up by tomorrow. I put this right here because it's next to the radiator, so I don't want it too hot, but I'm going to put the thermometer there to watch it, and I'm going to put the light on the timer. See you tomorrow. All right, I'm trying to get it on a video of transferring Baby K. I made that yesterday. It's a flower pot I got from Goodwill. I cut an under gravel filter. I put the gravel from the crayfish tank, which baby K was in. Of course, she was in her own vase, and every day I put water into that, water into that, because that has no filtration in itself. The only filtration is that live plant that is in there. So there is the baby koi. You'll see her when she is in here. We did put a water cabbage in there also. We got a little air pump going. That's her food right there. This is a nice welded table my son actually made for me when he first began learning how to weld. So I brought the cup up here so I could try to get the plant out without disturbing baby K. But I don't know how easy that's going to be. I'm trying to find her so I do not disturb her. she got to be running around me somewhere because there she is right there. Beep, 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 beep. That's the baby koi right there. So I'm putting my hand in here and pull out the plant. The plant is coming out right now. Hopefully, I can still see baby koi in there. I put the plant to the side for now. Help me find baby koi. Okay, she's still in there. Beep, beep, beep. You see her right there? So she blends in with these rocks so good. So I got to dump some of that water out. So I'm going to take it to the kitchen because I'm going to put that water in this cup. Okay, so the problem we're having is since it's in the vase, all the rocks gather here when we're trying to turn it over. So it's halfway down. She's right there. Is there water in here though? Yeah, there's, there's enough water in here. So we're trying to figure out what we could put in there to try to scoop her out. She's right there. There. I, here, you want me to put her in there? Or just keep yeah, her inside yeah, here? You can put her right in there. Or if she don't jump out of there, you can keep her in the ladle. She's 
right there. Yeah. See? Oh. You got her. Did I get her? Oh, 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 oh. Yep. You got her. You got her. Okay. Taking her to the tank now. I don't know why we keep calling it a her. We call it Baby K because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We didn't even know we had a boy and a girl last time. So here we are. My wife's almost there. Get the light out the way. And that's the tank for Baby K that we made out of a glass decorative bowl. My honey got her in the ladle right there. So next time you come here and have soup, it'll taste like fishy soup. And there's Baby K. That's our baby koi, the first baby koi we've ever had. And she was gonna be a loner downstairs. So we decided to bring her upstairs in our living room. And she does what she does best. She's hiding from us. It's hard to see her for the naked eye. We were hoping with this big tank it would be better, but we acclimated. Everything in this tank is from her tank downstairs. Although it is way cleaner. There she is right there. That's our baby koi. It's 10 days old. We'll keep you up on it. There's a live plant right there. There's water cabbage right there. There's the pump that's filtering the tank. And the light is on, I think, 10 hours right now. See the bubbles jumping up to the LED light? That's the LED light. Three watts on the light. So. Oh, I don't see her. Well, I know she's in here. I know she's safe. We shall keep you updated. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.